This is part two of the uh, version two intake install. In part one, we showed how to remove the stock airbox, the stock snorkel. Um, now we'll show you how to put the Road Race version two intake on. First step is to put the throttle body coupler provided with the kit. Basically, just slips over. Make sure your hose clamps are on there, but not tight. Um, next step is to remove the 10 millimeter bolt in the valve cover, the corner of the valve cover. We already loosened this one, so it's finger tight. Um, pull that out. Uh, next step would be to install the intake. On our intake, we've already installed the heat shield as well as the filter, um, which you can do outside the car. It makes it easier. Um, basically, it slips into place. The aluminum bracket on the other side will line up to the hole that we took the bolt of the valve cover out. Uh, put the stock recirc tube back on pushes onto the uh, the bung that's already on the intake. Um, you just basically put the hose clamp back in place just like the stock one. Put the 10 millimeter bolt back into the bracket and you just tighten it down. The next step is to put the mass sensor in. The mass sensor, we provide a new gasket. So what you need to do is, as, as shown here, take the gasket, the little rubber O-ring gasket, off of the stock mass and put the new one that we provide onto it. Um, it should stretch right over without any problems. Once that's on, drop the mass sensor into the hole. Um, it only goes in one way, but the airflow arrow needs to be pointed down towards the throttle body itself. Um, once the mass is in, you need to tighten it down with the Allen wrenches, which are provided with the kit. Um, the mass sensor needs to be snug tight with the mass plate so there's no air leaking in. Once those are tight, you can tighten up the hose clamps on the throttle body. And then uh, once those are tight, you can find the old plug and it clips right into the mass sensor. Uh, once that's done, just tighten, you know, double check everything, make sure your two bolts are tight, your heat shield bolts are tight, and your hose clamps are tight. And uh, once everything is tightened, um, that's, that's pretty much it.